Hi everyone, my name is Javi Becker and today we will be learning Perak Lamed Tet of Tehillim, Chapter 39, Li'ilui Nishmat Sarah Rivka Bar HaRav Nachamu Mindel, Sarah Lam Dredge. Lam Natseach Li'yudutun Mizmor Le'David. For the director for Yudutun, a song for David. Amarti, Eshmirad Rachai Mechtobil Shoni, Eshmirad Lafi Mechsom Be'od Rasha Lenegdi. I said, I will guard my ways from sinning with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a muzzle, even while the wicked one stands before me. Ne'lamti dumia hecheshiti mitov, uke'evi ne'echar. I became mute with stillness, I was silent from the good, and my pain was intensified. Cham libi bekirbi, behagigi tiv ar ish, dibarti bilshoni. My heart grew hot within me, in my contemplations a fire blazed. Then I spoke out openly. Hodi'eni Hashem kitzi. Umidat yamai mahi. Ed ma chadal ani. Let me know, Hashem, my end, and the measure of my days, what is it? Then I realized how deficient I am. Hine tvachot natata yamai vichildi ka'ayin negdecha. Ach kol hevel kol adam nitzav sela. Like handbreadths have you made my days, and my lifetime is as naught before you. All is total futility. All human existence, sela. Ach betzelem yitalich ish, ach hevel yehemayim, yitzvor v'lo yida miyosfim. In total darkness does man make his way. Total futility does he lustfully pursue. He amasses riches, yet he knows not who will harvest them. Vata ma kiviti Hashem, tochalti lechahi. And now, for what do I hope, Hashem? What is my expectation of you? Mikol p'sha'ai hatzileni, cherpat naval al tisimeni. From all my transgressions, rescue me. A disgrace before the degenerate, do not make me. Ne'elamti, l'arf tachpi, ki ata asita. I am mute, I do not speak up, because it is your doing. Haser me'alai mik echa, mitigrat yadcha ani chaliti. Remove from me your plague, by the hostility of your hand am I devastated. V'tochachot alavon yasar ta'ish, v'temes ka'ash chamudo. Ach hevel kol adam sela. With rebukes for sin have you chastened me. You rot like a moth his precious flesh. Total futility is all mankind, sela. Shim atvilati Hashem v'shavati ha'azina, el dimati al techarash, ki ger anochi imach, toshav kechol avotai. Hear my prayer, Hashem, to my outcry lend an ear, to my tears be not mute, for an alien am I with you. A settler like all my forefa- like all my forefathers, Hashami meni va'avliga v'terem ilech ve'ineni, release me that I may regain my strength before I depart and I am no more. I'd like to focus on the beginning of pasuk yud gimel, shimat vilati Hashem v'shavati ha'azina el dimati al techarash. Listen, Hashem, to my prayer. Lend an ear to my outcry. Do not be mute to my tears. There appears to be a repetition in this pasuk. If God listens to our prayers, Shimat filati Hashem v'shavati ha'azina, why must we also ask him to listen to our tears? El dimati al techarash. The Gemara in Brachot on Daf Lamed Bet Amud Bet addresses this pasuk in the following passage. The Amar Rabbi Elazar, Miyom shecharav beit hamikdash min alu sharei tefila, sheneemar, gam ki az akva ashavea satam tefilati. Rabbi Elazar teaches that since the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash, the gates of prayer have been locked. As the Pasuk in Eicha tells us, Gam ki akva shaveya satam tfilati. Even when I beseech God, he closes out my prayer. Yet, says Rabbi Elazar, the afal pisha shari tfilani nalu, shari dim alun inalu. Shene'emar, shim atfilati Hashem, v'shavati ha'azina, el dimati al tacharash. Even though the gates of prayer are locked, the gates of tears are not locked. As our Pasuk in Tehillim teaches us, El dimati al techarash, do not be mute to my cries. Our Pasuk should be understood as, please God, listen to our prayers. And should there be a time when our prayers are not received, listen to our cries out to you. An earlier Gemara in Brachot teaches that not only does God listen to cries, but he himself cries. On Daf Gimel Amud Aleph, in discussing the various Mishmarot of the night, Rav Yitzchak bar Shmuel Mishmei de Rav, Rav Yitzchak, the son of Shmuel, in the name of Rav, teaches, Gimel Mishmarot Havei Halayla. 
ועל כל משמר ומשמר יושב הקדוש ברוך הוא ושואב הארי, ואומר, אוי לבנים שבעוונותיהם החרבתי את ביתי, ושרפתי את היכלי, והגליתים לבין אומות העולם. The night is divided into three sections, and to mark each one, God sits and roars like a lion, crying over the plight of the Jewish people, whose sins led God to destroy his home and exile the Jewish people. The Gemara in Chagiga addresses the question of the crying of God and asks, Does God indeed cry? How can this be? As the Pasuk in Divrei Hayamim says, In God's place there is strength and happiness, not sadness or crying. To this the Gemara answers that God does cry, but he does so in a special place, a special makom. Makom yesh la kadosh baruch hu u'mistarim shmo. God has a place called mistarim. And the Navir Miyahu refers to this place when he says, v'mistarim tivken nafshi. Rav Waldenberg, author of the Tzitz Eliezer, suggests that it is perhaps for this reason that when we comfort mourners in Abed Ha'avel, we choose to use the language of makom in the statement of ha-makom yenachim etchem mitoch shar avalei tzion v'yerushalayim. May the Makom comfort you among the mourners of Zion and Jerusalem. We refer here to God as Makom, not as Hashem, Elohim, or any of the more frequent names of God. We tell the mourner that God himself is crying in his Makom, and we pray that just as we are certain that God will eventually be comforted for the loss of the Beit HaMikdash, so should the mourner find eventual consolation. The Avudraham takes the concept of God's crying further. According to Avudraham, God cries not only for the national tragedy that befell the Jewish people at the time of Korban Habayit. He cries for each and every one of his children who has niftar. Avudraham bases this on the interpretation of the daily Kaddish, in which we say that it is beyond our ability to praise God. He is le'ela mikol birchata, shirata, v'tushbechata, above blessings, songs, and praise. Yet we add another word, le'ela mikol birchata, shirata, tushbechata, v'nechemata, what does Venechemata refer to? Are we saying that we are unable to comfort God? Avudraham says, indeed, yes. God is crying for the departed, and he is beyond comfort. While we cannot comfort God, he will be comforted by the promise of eventual redemption. While we may have difficulty comforting the mourner, we pray that he will have eventual mechama, just as the makom will have eventual mechama. The holiday of chirut, of freedom, will be upon us in just a few short days. Next week, we will read the famous words from the Haggadah, Baruch HaMakom Baruch Hu, Baruch Shenatan Torah La'amu Yisrael Baruch Hu. As a member of the extended Lamb family through my uncle Josh and Aunt Rifki, I had the privilege of spending time with Sarah and learning firsthand what a unique, warm, friendly, fun, and gracious human being she was. It is my hope and prayer that the family finds comfort in the Makom and in the wonderful memories they have of Sarah.